A friend of mine reached out to me saying, We need to solve space exploration. Plus, Cross Torio 2, one of Factorio's longest mods. I agreed and we booted up, but there's a problem. Factorio's biggest update ever, Space Age, will be releasing soon. It could drop a year from now or tomorrow, and when it does, everybody, including me, will be playing it. Will we complete our 200 to 1000 hour Factorio mod, or will our save file be abandoned and forgotten? Welcome to a race against time and space. I was going to put it on LinkedIn. Some people say I have said that I look like a chef. <laughs> <laughs> Is your job title. That'll be, a, that'll be an achievement. Well, that's as good a place as any to start part four. We left off with many chemical science upgrades, most recent among them being electric furnaces, and I have taken the liberty to upgrade the iron smelting into this giant unratioed off-center pile. Also, we're still trekking through the land of really shit quality video, so apologies about that. I really was asleep at the wheel with my video settings, but this will be the last video to trudge through. It's really a badge of honor, though. You can say that you were there when you could count the frames. You remember and have nostalgia for when my videos looked like dog shit, and you can redeem your honor as the only true recognizable currency worldwide. That's... Probably the most amount of copium I've ever pumped into a video. I know it looks off, but it has since been fixed, and there are enough important clips that I couldn't just throw it out, so the show must go on, and here we are. NASA people. Don't even get me started on NASA people. I have never felt more like I was getting psyoped in my life. Don't worry about what it is. It can't hurt you. Okay. Deep breaths. It's fine. Factory game. Right. <sighs> I like to make a tileable roboport that takes care of connecting roboports linearly with power poles. I find this blueprint very special because it generally is the first one that in a sense is recursive because it can be built by construction bots in our bot network, but also extends the range of the bot network. This means we can place several of these in a row, and although the furthest roboport cannot be reached by bots because it is not in the current network, each previous roboport built will recursively be a part of the network, and the chain of construction commands will eventually build all of the roboports. It's also special because I can paste it on the map and not even think about building it. As long as the materials needed to build are requestable, the construction bots in the base will build it, and I can go off and build something that requires much more attention. Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my oven. I'm gonna go off this in person and bring like a loaf of bread to every meeting and just eat it really loudly every time someone starts talking. Brunch. Yeah. This is a natural extension of the recursive Roboport blueprint. Same thing, but with solar panels on it. I wanted to be as space efficient as possible, and it's a little tricky with the spacing between roboports and substations, but I did my best to fill in the gaps with solar panels and accumulators. This blueprint is great because not only will we extend the bot network, we will also automatically build solar, and although our solar panels are relatively small trickle, on the production side we can just paste this down and let the bots take care of it. We do need to find some more real estate though. Did you see my bread? Yeah, I, I, we were chatting about it in the bread chat. Good. You don't remember us talking about it, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago? No. See, the, the, the me that responds to messages on Discord is different. Yeah, I blocked it out because you said the French are sexy. I mean, disgusting. Anyways, yeah, it's it's all uh, it's going in the blender to be uh, breading for chicken. Buys expensive flour and spends a lot of time and effort making beautiful loaf of bread uses that breading for chicken anyway. It's better because it's like mostly butter. We're doing it for science. Poisson. Making croissant. Poisson. Croissant. Croissant. Uh, could you guys please fucking speak English? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Could you please say croissant? Bro, sand. Croissant. Croissant. Qualling in my son. Qualling <laughs> in my son. My son. Based. So based. <laughs> Among us. <laughs> anyway, I spent like an hour reading doing this blueprint and I felt pretty good about this blob. The drones then receive the signal and move out in massive waves. It's hard to pin down my favorite aspect of bots, but 
this might be it. It always makes me chuckle the way that they charge ahead full steam, run out of battery, retreat toward a roboport at a 90 degree angle, recharge, and then charge ahead again. I could help them out by making a better roboport stream, but this is much better, don't you agree? I also love when they come to take away my thousands of items and make a mass dense enough to walk across. It just feels right. The bread machine says 47 minutes left until the bread is done. It's going to have a beautiful silver crust of nonstick coating. <laughs> the, uh, the poster said they had snacks, and they, they don't have snacks. I 3D printed some cookie cutters that are like dog butts. <laughs> it smells so much like chemicals. Remember when I said I would regret how I made copper smelting? Well, it has grown in terrifying ways. It's slapped down between two train stations, so it's really gotten into uh, every furnace for himself type situation. It looks cool though. Uh, some of the furnaces can be loaded straight off the train. So the, the council has reached the decision that we're not eating the bread out of this machine. Why? Uh, the chemical smell is... Why does the air smell like uranium? You ever seen a satisfactory speedrun? Cena? <laughs> I can't see you. Time is now. Okay. We are a modern factory now, and with Blue Science comes the satellite rocket technology, which is very exciting. But it also means we are facing our first four boss products that the rocket requires. Rocket control units, rocket fuel, low density structure, and heat shielding. Each of those four products are very expensive, take a long time to craft, and require four inputs that have little overlap with one another. For instance, low density structure and rocket control units each require four inputs to make, but only share one of those in glass. This is true across all four of these products, which is significant because it means I can't just drop a few train stations and make them all in exactly the same space. I have to conquer each boss material one at a time. I don't want to call it now, but without the advanced bot networks of the future that put what we have now to shame, this might actually be the most demanding sequence of the run. First on the chopping block is rocket control units. Well, the real first thing is moving Rabbit's electrolysis plant somewhere else, like I'm his mom dumping all of his dirty laundry on his bedroom floor, but he had no idea this was prime real estate, so like a loving mother, I forgive him for his sins. But like human calf meat will like mix with the nonstick coating and create a new breed of animal. That's possible. What? Exactly. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see it in post. <laughs> You'll completely forget about it and then hear it in post. Like, what the fuck? Legitimately give himself a, a mental disorder listening to all of our Discord audio <laughs> yeah, more yeah, than dude. once. Rocket control units need batteries, red circuits, glass, and iron. Notably, it requires five of each, which is a lot. Definitely a great target for productivity modules. Also, glad I stocked up on these batteries. Thankfully, red circuits are made just west of here, so I only need to belt them over, and the glass and iron already have established trains, so they are easy enough to provide with two more stations. And that's one boss down, just need an export train and rocket control units are done. Why did this happen to me? I got out my arm! I'm bleeding to death. Don't forget about the main belt though, it still needs to be upgraded. My beautiful bots. Let's just be happy that bots can help with this process. I don't think I'd do it if I had to do it all by hand.
you you want help? You're playing Factorio. Yeah. I have uh, I have an urge to fix that junction, that mining junction of the ore and iron that you keep talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This time he's in deep. He's going in to fight one of the bosses on his own. Wish him luck. Is this actually still needed? The electrolysis. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you we need rocket good. fuel. So yeah, if, if uh, you want I, to I, make I, rocket fuel any way you want to make rocket fuel. Once all four bosses are slain, they will be dragged over to the silo that Waz has been cooking. Back on the main belt, it's not all upgrades. This copper mine has already run out and is being demolished. Its space will be used to bloom other prosperous production in the future. Thank you, copper mine. We also need a lot more power and I'm happy to finally slap this thing down. The beauty is I'm doing this 100% from the map. Slam them down, brother. The cream of the crap. After connecting RoboPorts, this thing builds itself. 33 hours. I do love this clock. We need to do this every time we play this now. What'd you say? I said, how's it going, brother? Pretty good. I just sat down with a stick, a ribeye. Seared in the cast iron, put some butter and salt on it, and now I'm just looking at it like I'm... <laughs> do I want to fuck this piece of meat, bro? Bro. 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 I just fast forwarded your new video to the Discord Ravels. <laughs> Wait, dick butt? Uh, anyone else feel like they're caught in a time loop? Well, I'll try and ignore that. As a side quest to our bosses, getting steel on trains is necessary, so I'm going to paste this copper smelting blueprint. Recall that steel is a total bitch and needs coke, which requires wood and coal, so coal will need to be trained in and wood will be greenhoused locally because it just requires water, so it's free and a wood train would make me sad. It does need quite a lot of greenhouses, though. Uh... Okay, so what what do we have left to make? Kind of we need to make the satellites. Yeah, I'm getting steel. Okay. Uh, we have low density structure being made somewhere. Yes. No? That's once the steel goes up, then it'll go. Some of it will go to the low density structure. Okay, but it is like we have a factory for it. Yeah. So where it's gonna go is south of where the. Uh, rocket control units get made so they can share the glass unload. Gotcha. Uh, then we have heat shielding on a train somewhere. We do not. Could maybe speed mod them and just throw them onto a train and call it a day. Maybe. <sighs> yeah, the getting sulfur is the tricky part. I guess if we have, is it light oil to sulfur? Light or petroleum to sulfur. We could like, cause we have a light oil train. I guess we could have a petroleum train too, why not? Well, I'm thinking we could make sulfur on site. We could just use, like, just get petroleum on a train. Well, we don't have petroleum on a train either, so it's six of one half a dozen. I think that would be fairly easy. And worst comes to worst, uh, we, we don't have get... room for a train anywhere for petroleum. Well, we could do it with light oil too. We could crack and then make sulfur with the cracked petroleum. Ish. Yeah, I might be able to fit a, a train in here. Let me see. You know me, I can. Where there's a hole, there's a, a train. You know. Bro. It's not super obvious how to do all of this. We're already making heat shielding, but the quantity is too low. It needs sulfur, but we could make that from petroleum or from cracking light oil into petroleum. Also, wait, why the hell does quote unquote low density structure need steel? Can some of you material science people please fill me in again? I'm pretty sure that steel doesn't fit the low density bill. I really love the placement of the steel train station. Fits like a damn glove and it's even perfectly lined up to be fueled by the coke before it goes to the steel. Did you do this? Can you describe it? This train track. Uh, what? If I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. If I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. I didn't see it. I don't know about it. See, I knew it would go over well. Leaving this here to document another wondrous Waz wall.
Another side plot I'll breeze over is the speed module factory that was stalled for a long time because the green ship demand was extremely high. Reinforcing the green ship supply eventually brought prosperity to this area and it now has a booming speed module economy. Like productivity modules, they can be thrown in buildings and their effect is much simpler. Power need goes up, speed of building goes up. I'm very production pilled, so I use productivity modules much more frequently than I use speed modules, but speed modules are great for certain things. The pulverizers that process the core miner, for example, should be speed moduled because core mining is infinite, so it's not like we're saving core fragments for later, and speed modules make the machines much faster. I mentioned this in the last video, but oil pump jacks are also infinite and should be speed moduled. Finally, some things are in tight spaces and just need to be made faster, so speed modules help boost production in those scenarios. But that doesn't answer why we are making train loads of them. We certainly don't have enough buildings demanding 24,000 speed modules. Well, they're also an ingredient in rocket science. Imagine paying more than $7 for your keyboard. Or mouse. For my job, I bro. refuse to use a mouse without at least 16 buttons on it, okay? Mine is three. Mine has Five. 17. <laughs> oh, give me just a second, I have to hit the isekai button, whoa! I just like it because it has like the full numpad. On the mouse. So it's any, yeah, so anything that uses like the, <laughs> like the number <laughs> buttons. What? What are you giggling about? I'm just imagining you at like a cash register, but you're like just using a mouse or like something. <laughs> I don't know. It just is a funny image in my head. Johnny Giggler here, just giggling. You planted a bunch of extra solar panels since we ran out of power, right? Yeah, look in the bottom right. Yeah, I didn't know if those were before or after. And this is what happens when you pick up a bunch of coal. I can't see anything because the fucking bot swarm is just over everything. Oh, so many plates on the belt. It's wonderful. Oh, 20 million circuits. Oh, you hit the achievement? Nice. There is no mod, no bot attrition, nothing that will stop me from making this happen in a Factorio game. We got hit, Captain. Okay, we can finally take on the second boss, low density structure. As I mentioned earlier, I can share a train stop with rocket control units as they also need glass, but we still need to bring in copper, steel, and plastic. He is factoring. We are. Plastic is a bit of an issue right now. We only make one red belt and they are already being trained into the majestic electronic components factory. So we need to start a new side quest in brainstorming ways of getting more crude oil. The first resource in plastics production chain. Eventually. There are so many different factories to set up that sometimes production can just solve itself. If we're only making one red belt of plastic but limit our products correctly, I can go off and make a steel factory and 10 other things and by the time I'm done it might be enough. I kind of like that aspect. There are various other games I have enjoyed that have mechanics that require a low amount of attention. Maybe check in on this thing once a day for 10 minutes and it will grow on its own so you can go off and do other things. I like that feeling of multitasking, like I'm actively focusing on one thing, but I know in the background there are 10 other things getting accomplished as well. This mod isn't even trying to implement that mechanic, but I still feel like I'm immersed in it. Like in many different ways, with bots building for me and resources that are super valuable but take a long time to craft or mine. It requires patience, but it's very organic, and I think it's rare to see this mechanic crop up organically without a game company smacking you over the head with a pop-up that says, come back in eight hours when your green crystals are done photosynthesizing. In other news, that's low density structure, two bosses down. Another side quest pops up, glass and silicon need to be modernized to using electric furnaces.
I also try my hand at speeding up the plastic. It helps a little bit, but it's still a very slow process. The big issue here is space, honestly. We could just slap down some more chemical stations, but our pasta dish has been cooked and we're just lying in it. Speed modules do help in this scenario, though. All right, what what do we have? What are we what are we working on? Uh, rocket launch is priority number one for me. So yeah. I've got low density structures up. I'm setting up a station for them to fuel at. Okay, so it's like just the satellites then, and that's it. Should be, I think. Yeah, I'd have to uh, double check out the thing, but ah uh, yes, the satellite. This is the true final boss. We only need to make one for our first launch, but it is extremely expensive at 50 advanced circuits, 50 low density structures, 10 solar panels, 10 accumulators, 50 solid rocket fuel, 100 glass, and to top things off, a radar. Waz eventually ends up making it in his inventory though, so that's three out of five checkboxes, just need heat shielding and rocket fuel. We already had a light oil train going, so I ultimately decided to crack it into petroleum, then combine it with water to make sulfur necessary for heat shielding. The other benefit of training over light oil is that I can turn it into solid fuel to use to fuel all of the trains in this row. There are now eight train stations over here, so I'm very happy about this. Farm gang, rise up. Farm gang. Nothing wakes you up like the smell of cow shit in the morning. Hey, the smell of cow dog is actually pretty nice. Every morning. Bro. Means you're uh, away from civilization. Yes. Do you ever want to shit on your porch and watch the grass grow? I do want to shit on my porch, that's exactly what I want to do. Now I, I grew up in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Heat shielding also needs stone tablets to be manufactured locally from stone bricks, and then we can train it over to the rocket silo. For some reason, heat shielding only stacks to 50, most things stack to 100 or 200, but trains are fast and it's not like I'm measuring anything. Mostly just more assembler. Last thing we need is steel, which I steal from the low density structure. Keep God. doing your thing. Oh, I will. Optimal. If you ate those onions, you need to go to the hospital. Uh, what is heat shielding? Yeah, what is heat okay. shielding? Uh, usually a silica-based baked material with a waterproofing sprayed onto it. Good for you. Now we're gaming. Yeah, doing... Math in my head is illegal. Three hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, no. Finally combine everything together and there we go. Heat shielding, one more boss to go, rocket fuel. This is what happens when you put two apes in the same room. True. He walks into my door, he's like, holds up the potato salad, eat. Like, yes. <laughs> like, I eat. Yes. <laughs> we got assigned another side quest in finding more oil wells, so I started laying down train tracks and prospecting like it was 1820. I'm going to be disappointed if you don't just put a screeching eagle noise over every time one of you says oil in the video. Yeah, every time you show the oil processing, it's got to be a screech. Where did we put massive tanks again? Oh, you know where they are? They're inside of the biter. The friendly biter got stuck inside this chest. What? I don't know. I'm going to be looking for some uh, biter exaltation in your next uh, video. In, in, the whole, in, in his presence. You know, the best part about this is having people be like, I expect the X to be in your next video, and then that to that clip to be in the video, and a second later that thing to happen. Yep, definitely stuck in a time loop. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes, we can hear you. Do you, you hear me? You can hear yeah. me right now? Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah. still Discord in the task <laughs> manager. I close you Discord. No, you can't close Discord. No, the background service is closed. No, it isn't. This is like that time in uh, like 2010 when my computer blue screen, but my <laughs> Skype call was still going, so I just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Least stable Skype session. NASA people. NASA people. Russell Russell. NASA people. Uh oh. 
NASA people. <laughs> I just keep hearing people say NASA people every second and then like not explaining anything. <laughs> I just, I just, I even literally. People. NASA people. NASA people. Tomato. Like this is what you're talking about? No. Yeah. NASA people. NASA people. NASA <laughs> Did you miss the link? No, I just watched it. It doesn't explain fucking anything. It's exactly. NASA people a thousand times. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Here it is, the namesake of the mod, only 40 hours into a rocket exploration-based game, and we're launching our first rocket. There's only one right thing to do for such a momentous occasion. Since day one, there has been a diligent individual with a simple request. Every episode, he has the same desire. No idea if anybody out in the cosmos will hear his dream. Well, my dear individual, today is the day that your dream becomes a meme, and we play a song that violates the vibe check so hard that I feel like I need to censor the screen. That's right, we have evolved from rock smacking cavemen to interplanetary species using only our bare hands, and we decided to play Sea Shanty 2 to commemorate. This is the equivalent of playing polka at a funeral. But truly, this was the only timeline that made sense. Dear God of Spaghetti, one who serves us the beloved Bolognese, we ask for forgiveness in these trying times. May our rocket successfully reach the stars. Okay, NASA Peepo into Sea Shanty 2. I think that's enough schizophrenia for one video. Let's talk about what this actually means for the run. The satellite rocket scans for nearby planets in space, and it also scans our own planet. Ooh, our satellite found a treasure chest. Nice. Uh, what do I do in the like? They put all the stuff into the chest capsule because I'm in the interface where it says I found a weapons cache. We have to go over and pick it up. Yeah, I put a marker down on it. I will acquire the loot. We were able to see the contents of the chest and it has three requester chests and a requester warehouse, which is amazing. Requester chests set items to be requested up to a certain value and if there are logistic spots in the network and the item is available in the network, the bots will bring the items to the chest until the order is fulfilled. For instance, if I set a chest to 50 iron plates, the bots will bring 50 iron plates to the chest and if I take those plates out, the bots will bring another 50. This allows us to bypass many obstacles that have thus far required either belts or trains. We only have four, however, and we can't make more yet, so we are going to need to be clever with how we use them. We got a rail gun. Where do you have those? Uh, no, this is like a handheld rail gun. Oh, anti-material rifle, okay. It does uh, 1,600 damage. That's pretty peepo. We got some heavy composite. What else did we get? Oh, we got a requester warehouse and three requester strong boxes. Oh, baby. Satellite rockets also produce satellite telemetry, which is used in rocket science, AKA yellow science. And we have a new round of scientific goodies to research. Oh, we can make laser turrets. Manage PEPO infrastructure. It's a real-time FIFO queue. Uh, distributed pizza pipeline. It's a, a peepo queue. It is That's a peepo queue, yeah. Yeah, I still don't know what the fuck they're talking about, but it's time for laser turrets, one of my favorite items. I feel like I say that every time there's a new item, but laser turrets don't need to be fed ammo and have a longer range than bullet turrets, so I have always adored them. Almost forgot we can actually take a look at what we scan. Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh. The stuff. The solar panels that provide like eight times the electricity that we have. Four megawatt per panel solar panels. That's what? <laughs> it's insane. Beautiful. We scanned an asteroid orbiting our planet. Apparently, someone has been here before. Little did they know, soon the sun would abandon them. Uh. Um, is the heat shielding up? Uh, again, need some more oil. Endless struggle. The sneak peek of the asteroid is very exciting. We may not be able to get to space yet, but we can plan, imagine, and like the Sea Shanty 2 person, dream. We have confirmed a few things though. There are amazing solar panels, some rubble, and even a small makeshift rocket ship.
Looking at the science we just unlocked, there are a few space-specific buildings that suggest we need to actually go up there and get some things done. But unfortunately, we don't fit in a whole-ass satellite rocket, so we'll need some other way of getting up there. That is... Speaking of embarrassing... <laughs> just in time. So <laughs> What's going on? Car talk, car talk, car talk, car talk. Is that like the sequel to Cars? New planet, who dis? By the fucking crude oil planet, well, no. Exactly what we need. And zero biters. Wait, really? Oh. First planet's looking sick. No biters is incredible. We're low on oil. And no biters to boot. It also has immersite and iridite. I'm not really sure what you do with the iridite. Oh, it has cryonite. This is, oh, dude, this is a fucking sick first planet. God damn. Yeah, brother. I gotta set up like a really, really, really shitty base. That's like one of each machine type. I think what we could do is send you to another planet with no means of getting back. <laughs> okay. Which would like force you. <laughs> <I> believe in <laughs> Which would force you to like build your own rocket there. We would like okay. <laughs> occasionally send you like more biters. No, the biters managed to cut the bullet bill. Rude. The bones survived the washing machine. Now they oh, smell yeah. like Tide. As a parallel to real life, we have a lot of problems at home. As much as we might want to go to space, we still need to think about and solve everyday problems, think about our security, make sure the bills are paid. But in the background, we still chip away toward a solution. Yeah, that's about the average experience logging on for the day, just in case anybody thought this mod was simple for some reason. Okay, so I think the first things we're gonna wanna do when we go to space is we're gonna need to set up a cargo pad, and then I think we should try and get the rail guns set up. We're probably not gonna be needing a shit ton of stuff to go up, so it, it uses a lot less stuff than sending a full rocket up, you know? Right, yeah, especially for the short term or rockets are like unfathomably expensive yeah uh, i feel like we've been stuck where we're at right now for a while it looks like our bottleneck right now is still heat shielding so do we just need more sulfur yeah it looks like the yeah the sulfur just isn't gonna be made as fast okay utility science is cryonite so that's the one we have access to right away so that's good because that means bots so our easiest to access planet is the one that gives us a full logistics network all right, where you at? Come here, boy. I got a present for you. Ooh, woo. There you go. It's in your jet. Oh, yes. Not notice the size of the equipment grid. 4X our current one. Dude. Oh, that's so fucking nice. Let's see. Be cool, be base. <laughs> Yo. Because it took a jetpack to bit of J, by the way. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you can put, I think, all more jetpacks in, and it'll give you more acceleration. Uh, and it does burn rocket fuel. All right, well, I'm going to go back to handcrafting uh, nav satellites. So. Uh, these rare metals are very fortunately placed right next to the mine. Deer production is uh, so incredibly based, it's backed up because everything else is too slow. Nice. I don't like it. So yeah. The planet we just found is like giga cryonite Ooh. yeah we have a lot of things to do first on my list is making blue circuits the successor of red circuits aside from red circuits they only need rare metals which we have been stocking up tons of from the core miner and sulfuric acid which we have about eight train loads of ready to go I'm going to save some space and cook and load the rare metals right next to where the blue circuits are made to save myself a train ride and give it to the next guy. By this, I mean they're pro processing, you processing. Yeah, good one. We have a lot of solar, but are woefully under accumulated, so I take the mega solar blueprint and just fill it in with accumulators and go to town.
I think this ends up being 146 gigawatts, which surprisingly is not going to be total overkill forever. I just wanted to never use this blueprint again. And what's that? Efficiency modules? Shh, we don't talk about those in public. I'm trying to build a serious factory here. Did you see the, uh, the new apartments I have installed? Huh? Right there. Accumulator bill. I got One by one. You saw an L game. I get up some basic uranium processing and learn that touching it hurts, so don't touch uranium. I believe this statement is context independent. The processing spits out a bunch of non-uranium garbage, and fortunately, I'm near the processing for this excess garbage, so I can just belt it away. <laughs> Died the uranium. Why not? And I think it's stupid to think what others care of you, especially when you're just trying to learn about something. Well said, just make sure you're not learning about uranium. Roller Coaster Tycoon is prehensile. Should I always level up my bros, my brothers? My uh, brother? If you're planning on keeping them. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> some of your fucking eggs are gonna crack, brother. Me. I had like some kind of weird croissant thing with beef brisket and, and jalapeno. I'm sorry, you had, you had a what? Uh, a croissant? A, a what? A, a croissant? Thank you. <laughs> I was literally editing video of you guys saying croissant 45 times in a row, but super cut together. <laughs> and now we have more. Croissant? What the croissant? Croissant? What the <laughs> Why is that <laughs> so, so, so funny? I thought that we're all going to die in a nursing home someday. We'll just keep <laughs> saying it back and forth till one of us has a heart attack. <laughs> we're just going to be sitting there laughing our asses. A croissant? What the crawling dirty? Oh, God. Fucking damn it, I where's Waldo in my jet? Digging in my camera bag and I found four dollars. Enough to afford like uh seventy-three percent of a McChicken. Alright, cargo rocket silo is being crafted in inventory. Nice. You know, I uh, that's kinda cool. That's also horrible. I don't know if I would be okay with it, but Yeah, I'd rather not have crafted it in my inventory, but here it is, the rocket silo, the namesake of the mod and our gateway into the heavens. We're finally here, ready to load this bad boy up and see what the stars have to offer us. He's a thick boy. He sure is. Wait, wh who wrote that? Well, it's time to finally use our requester chests. I'll leave that to you. They're super helpful for loading the rocket with many various items. I make extreme use of this one to also simplify the process of making this rocket capsule that needs solar panels and accumulators. I cannot wait to load this thing up and see what the moon is really made of in the next one.